More tonight about a pursuit that ended in a hostage situation in a quiet Fair Oaks neighborhood. Caught in the crosshair is a woman who is now recovering in the hospital. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan joining us now live in Fair Oaks right now to tell us what happened last night and how neighbors are reacting. Kristen. Well, Nikki and Eric, it all happened here within the 6,000 block of Long Acres. Now, a neighbor tells us that the suspect barricaded himself inside a house with a husband and a wife before the wife actually jumped out of a two story building to safety. And neighbors are telling us this was all very surreal. Quiet, uh, tucked away, concealed. Very few people know it exists. Tom Cox uses these words to describe his neighborhood in Fair Oaks, a place he's called home for 31 years. But last night, it was anything but. The scene playing out before Tim Kubrock while visiting his grandkids from Monterey. We heard all the sirens. There were at least five or six police cars chasing the suspect. And we came to the window to watch what was happening right in front of us. This all started on Sunday night in Citrus Heights when police say James Jared, a parolee from Pittsburgh, was driving a stolen vehicle and refused to pull over. He led police on a chase for more than two miles, ending up on Long Acres Court. I could have been home. I could have walked out there to give him a bottle of water or something. Uh, anything could have happened. Resident Tom Cox says he was grateful he wasn't home when the suspect crashed into a curb and hit his oak tree. But a husband and wife next door were not so lucky. Citrus Heights police confirmed that Jared left the crashed car and fled into their home with a handgun. I can only imagine what's going through someone's mind when they crash into a tree doing 60 or 70 miles an hour. The pursuit turning into a hostage situation after Jared barricaded himself inside this home in the 6,000 block of Long Acres Court. He jumped the fence, went through my backyard, jumped the neighbor's fence, and broke in or entered through an open door. Investigators say the husband was able to get out, but told authorities that his wife was still inside. They prepared to rescue the woman with a firefighter ladder but she jumped from the second window to get away after Jared discovered where she was hiding. Un unbelievable, just surreal to hear the negotiators talking to him, him saying he did not want to go back to prison. He wanted to die by suicide by cop. After several hours, Jared did peacefully surrender. And we don't really know the extent of the woman's injuries, but officials do say she's in a hospital right as we speak being treated for those injuries. And we also did reach out to the husband for more information, but he declined an interview. Live in Fair Oaks, Kristen Vartan, Fox 40 News.